Now, the hit Broadway show Aladdin has been shut down after a COVID outbreak just one day after the show reopened. Last night's performance was canceled after positive tests with the cast and crew. And this morning, still no word on when it will reopen. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from Times Square with more. John? Chris and Mary officials with the Broadway musical not going into specific details about how serious these cases are, but they do tell us, though, that they were detected through rigorous testing. And while all patrons who were supposed to see the show last night were issued full refunds, many people hoping that a cancellation like this does not repeat. Tuesday night, Aladdin made its remarkable rebound, even tweeting its curtain call 18 months in the making, adding the hashtag Broadway is back. But it was curtains for the show in just 24 hours due to breakthrough cases in the company. A second tweet read last night, quote, we will continue to provide support to the affected Aladdin company members as they recover. We were disappointed. We drove in and we listened to the soundtrack on the way in. This Stony Brook, Long Island mother brought her eight year old son Tyler to the show, only to be shown the stage door. We were shocked and stunned, but we were disappointed. It was a longer trip for this group. They came from Michigan. Was it disappointing? Yes, it was. Why? Because it was, um, like I said, I'm really a kid at heart. That was why I wanted to come to see this. This marks the first Broadway production to cancel a performance due to COVID since Broadway's triumphant return earlier this month. And with dozens of new shows upcoming, it raises questions about whether other shows could also be put in COVID jeopardy. Broadway has a, has a way, especially even in the films of Disney, they found a way to connect to every generation. If it does infect any other Broadway musical, uh, Harry Potter, uh, any, uh, Dear Evan Hansen, it, it, it would be a real shock. Now, it is still unclear when exactly the musical will be up and running again, but reps with the Broadway musical saying uh, that they will be communicating the status of future performances sometime later on today. We are live this morning from Times Square. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you.